In today's video, I'll be taking you for another circular walk in two adjacent dales with lovely scenic landscape in the Yorkshire Dales. These are Arkengath Dale and Swale Dale. The walk started from the small village of Reith via Lower Arkingarthdale all the way to another small village of Hilo and then back to Reith. We walked through some pasture land along Arkelbeck, Rivers Whale and across Moorland. If you want to know more of this walking route, you can find it in OS Survey Map 30. Furthermore, if you want to know about the small village of Reith, please click the videos in the outro. From Reith, we walk on Arkingarthdale Road until we saw the signage indicating a public booth path towards the pasture area. Most of the pasture area is demarcated with a stone wall and to cross over it, you will have to use the stile or through the gate when available. Please make sure that you are aware of the countryside code when walking within the national park. During our walk, we encountered a family of sheep that surprisingly approached us, which wasn't a typical behavior based on my previous experience walking through such an area. The sheep probably thought that I am their shepherd due to my trekking pole. Nonetheless, it was a pleasure to get close to them. As we walk away from the settlement, we notice a slow change of landscape and becoming more scenic similar to what I imagine the Yorkshire Dales really looks like. As most of the Yorkshire Dales are named after the river that runs through it, Arkingarth Dale is possibly an exception. It is believed that the valley was named after the 11th century Viking chieftain called Arkilsgarth, although the river Arkel has also contributed to its name. Swildale, on the other hand, was conventionally named by the river that runs through it, the River Swale. River Swale is one of the major tributaries of the River Ure, and similar to other rivers in the Yorkshire Dales, it was carved through several types of rocks and has features typical of both river and glacial erosion. The River Arkel and River Swale have played vital roles in all the settlements nearby providing water to aid in the raising of crops and livestock but also in the various mining activities that have occurred since Roman times and before. With the riparian ecosystems, they were important habitats for flora and fauna, as well as aesthetic values and venues for outdoor activities. Arkingath Dale is one of the most northern dales of the National Park, and similar with other dales, it is characterized as having a typical limestone structure, with a narrow valley bottom road, vast green meadows, and darker moorland skyline. With its diverse physical attributes, it's popular among walkers and nature enthusiasts. In fact, in 1989, Arkingarthdale along with Swildale were designated as a Barnes and Wolves Conservation Area, making it the largest conservation area in the United Kingdom. As we continued to walk, we reached a farmhouse area with a signpost indicating the direction towards Reith Low Moor where we walked through part of it before reaching the small village of Hilo. From the farmhouse, we walk uphill on the track towards the Arkingarthdale Road. Don't forget to look around while walking on the track to appreciate the views. Reith Lowmore or Carvert Hill has a summit of 487 meters. It is mainly a grassland area and towards the upper slope comprises of heather. 
with bilberry locally prominent on steeper slopes. Due to its higher elevation, it's a good spot to see surrounding areas and farther views. There are clear views of Arkingarth Dale where you can see the small village of Langthwaite, which is well known for featuring in the TV series All Creatures Great and Small, as well as the 1976 Disney film Escape from the Dark. The area has some evidence that is grazed by sheep and managed for grouse by controlled burning in small patches, which has created a patchwork of different colors. Red grouse, lapwing, curlew, and golden plover can be seen in the habitat, so it's always good to keep an eye open as well as listen for the different bird calls. As we walk back towards Whaledale, we were treated to the view across the dale over to Harkerside Moor and Wetside Moor. And then we suddenly saw a red grouse south on a stone wall which looked to be defending its territory from another grouse. This part of the walk is really scenic. You can see the vast valley covered with fresh low-lying vegetation and the stone walls showcases the typical feature of the Yorkshire Dales. I recommend spending time here to experience the splendid view and the smell of the countryside. It's a perfect spot to enjoy your favorite snacks and of course to practice your photography skills. While walking down the track to Hilo, we saw this interesting looking barn, which was the winner of the restoration category in the Best Building Design Awards 2010, and it's called Hog House. It was restored using traditional materials and methods, with a roof covered with thick heather, giving it a unique appearance. Walking down into Hilo, you will see the typical stone houses of the Yorkshire Dales. This is a very small village with less than 20 houses. At the end of the village, there's an option to walk back towards Wreath, either over the fields or by the river's wheel. We opted to walk by the river to experience some different views. Walking from Hilo along the river Swill to Reef took us about one and a half miles. I enjoyed walking along the river Swill because it felt fresh and the river was flowing so calmly. On top of that, the chirping of the birds and calls from the ship contributed to the natural sounds which was soothing after the long walk. Due to the weather having been quite dry in recent days, the river was fairly low and flowing slowly. Along this part of the walk, there is an option to continue along the riverside to pass by the swing bridge as shown in my Harkerside Moor video. However, due to subsidence along the riverbank, there's no direct way to reach Wreath. 
so we were diverted along the other right of way across the fields. The closed section of the footpath is due to reopen in July 2021, so please check the Yorkshire Dales website for information regarding the path closures. When back in Reef, it's always pleasant to take a rest and enjoy a snack. And a popular place to get a bite is the Ice Cream Parlor, which is a family-run business that sells real dairy ice cream from Primore near Jervo. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe for more getaways with Noel. Thank you for watching.